Welcome back from Cooking with Frankie Meeple. Tonight is date night, okay? You get the kids away, get the grandparents in to do their duty. If you don't have kids, then you don't got nothing to worry about. Get some candles, guys. Get a nice candlelight dinner. You dim the lights, huh? And then it's romantic time. Put some romantic music on. Boom, bada bing. You know what I'm saying? So tonight, we're going to make a chorizo mussel squid sauce over linguine. Forget about it. It's time to have a date. Lemon, parsley, we got cherry tomatoes, we got your lemon, we got your anchovies. So now we're going to do what you call mise en place. Means prepping, whatever you want, it's not fancy, but I just like saying mise en place. You remember how I showed you how to do the onion, so you do the onion the same way. With this recipe, you do want to use the purple onion. The red onion, purple, whatever you want to call it, okay? So, that's what we're going to do. Nicey nice. Remember, cut it down through the root. Keep the root on. We'll just take the skin off here. There. Boom. We're going to go through the top on an angle down. Go through the middle on an angle down. Boom. There we go. You want them all kind of the same size, so they all cook the same. All right. You got to stop saying all right. These guys must be tired of me going, hey, all right, next. Oh, hey, what are you doing over here? I'm over here now. We got our onions cut. We're going to start our garlic. Remember how I said you cut the tip off just a little bit? I like cutting the tips off. You can call me a moil, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, and we're going to squash it down, but I like to cut the tips off first, and boom, boom, boom. We're going to take that out. You have to put our, put our garlic, you want to run your knife through it, and you want to mince it very nice, very small. I'm going to make sure it's all the same size. Next, I'm going to do the scallions. All right, so we're going to use both two both parts of these. We're going to use the bottom. Wait, right? let's check that finger. Yep, all good. Okay, we're going to use we're going to use the bottoms. Okay, we're going to use the white part. I'm going to use the top part. I'm going to show you what to do. What you want to do is just cut the roots off first. Okay, we'll cut those roots off from the side and just cut them. Put them all together. What we're going to do, I think that's a little too much, so we're going to take some, put some off to the side, okay? Now we're just going to run our knife through them. What we're going to do, boom. You can put it together with the garlic, it's fine. Alright, there goes one, boom, up, come back. Alright. Alright, wow. I'm over onion over here, holy mother of God. All right, so, now what we want to do, wipe off your cutting board, all right? Okay, what we want to do, just cut them all even, okay? And what you want to do, cut them all even, just to get the tops off, get the clean part. See, you want to put your knife on an angle, cut that, and get them out of here, okay? Now, just run your knife on down them, nice and uniform. Keep that angle going. See how they're on an angle here? Very nice, right? Look at that, very nice, see? Very nice. All right, 
save this for another day. Okay, so we got our onions, and now we're going to do our parsley. We roll it up. They have uh, curly parsley and Italian parsley. You can use what you want, but I think uh, I want to use Italian parsley. We're going to get these tomatoes. We'll use uh, about six of them. That's four or five. That's six. You just want to cut them in half. Just wipe our knife off. Really not. Just wipe your knife off. Just run your knife straight in half. All right, right in half. Right in half. Put these over here. Now the only thing left to cut is you get your lemon. I'm on a nice juicy lemon. That's nice and juicy. All right. But anyway, I'm at the supermarket, right? And I'm I'm, I'm getting the uh, squid. And I talking to this lady. I said, I'm sorry. Were you were were, were you next? She's like, Nah, go ahead, you go. You look like a uh, pushy Italian. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, all right, let me let me talk to her. So I, I always carry these around. I, I whip them out of my pocket. I said, hey, speaking about pushy Italians, I got a YouTube channel, Cooking with Frankie Meatball. You know what I'm saying? So my turtle, my turtle's uh, making some noise. That's why I looked over. So I give her a sticker. I said, here. I said, uh, I got a cooking channel on YouTube. She goes, I don't watch YouTube. I'm a home chef. I said, oh, you're a home chef? I said, what are you do? You know, I'm trying to make small talk with her. Now she got me feeling uncomfortable, right? So I said, what you do? I uh, do a YouTube channel. She goes, I don't got time to do a YouTube channel. I'm too busy changing the world. <laughs> with an attitude like that, honey, I feel like saying, why you work on changing your attitude? Because if you don't change your attitude, you're going to meet the wrong person, and they're going to force you to change your bandages after they beat your, beat your head in. Changing the world. Don't you remind me of that actress, Kathy Bates. Oh! But anyway, that was my morning. So, I cut the lemon. I cut the tips off. Okay? I don't know why I cut the tips off. I, I'm used to getting it ready for the thing. Boom. So, I'm just going to cut that in half like that. But, usually just cut it. Just cut your lemon in half. Don't take the tips off. Okay, so. Now, we have one more thing you want to get about. Get some anchovies. All right? We got about, eh, I would say maybe like three. Three of them. I'm going to do three and a half. Eh, yeah, let's do three and a half. We, that's very uh, overpowering. All right, so just, you know, just chop it up. One more thing we have to do we got to get our uh, chores already. Uh, usually you can buy it in packs uh, that are squares. I couldn't find it in the market, so I just got the links. Same thing. And it has a skin on it. That's the only difference. So just run your knife straight down the middle, like that. And then you just take the skin off. Uh, usually, you know, yeah, about a half a pound of chorizo. So I'm going to use maybe, I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to do like uh, three links, I guess. Three links of chorizo. So I cut the body in half, and I cut cut the halves in half, and then just slice them. Okay, just you know, nice and even. Okay, just like that. I can't believe how big that that squid was, huh? Hey, that squid was hey, just like that big pizza, right? The big slice, the big squid slice. It's like a horror movie. Attack on a killer squid! Ah! Now we got all our squid cut. You know what? I'm going to cut these tentacles in half just to cut them in half because they're, they're, they're really big. And, you know, there's two years on date night. You want to make sure everybody gets a tentacle. Hey, <laughs> you know what I mean? Our mise en place is done. We got our green onion. Our green onion mixed with our chopped garlic. We got our onions. We got our parsley, our lemon, our tomatoes and our anchovies, okay? Now, clean, but don't forget to clean your muscles. All you gotta do is run some water over. And we're gonna clean our uh, squid, and you saw that video. So, now it's time to set the table, dim the lights, break open that bottle of wine, and start to cook it. Hey, cook up with Frankie Meatball date night. How you doing, hey? How you doing date night? I don't know about you, but I love date night. It's been a while since I had one with my wife. <laughs> Not a date, but date night, get the kids out. But the good thing is, 
I put a little uh, oil down. You know, I use grapeseed oil. I get get the sausage, but you know, date night. Look at that. Boom. That always get your always get your pan hot. Tamale. Always get your your pan hot, nice and hot. You know what I mean, honey? So you know, ooh, look at that. Alright, always get your pan nice and hot before you throw it in. We got our water getting almost near to the boil for our linguine. So we're just gonna you wanna chop this up a little bit. Don't worry about that. If, if it again if it's too too high, you always can lower it. But make sure you get it nice and hot. Chorzo has a very good taste. If you don't want to use chorzo, you can use uh, sweet or hot Italian sausage. Okay? So I'm just going to, I'm going to lower that a tad bit. Alright? Make sure you got your mise en place close by you. So date night. You know, you, it's always good. You know, when you're married, to get date night going. You know what I mean? Get, get the kids out of the house. Set them somewhere. Have a nice romantic night with your husband, your wife. Put on some nice, nice lovey-dovey music, you know? Some lovey, lovey-dovey. All right, look. This is starting to cook, so we just want to start breaking it down. Once it starts cooking, don't worry about this stuff. Just give it a little scrape, because that's going to come up once we throw everything in there, okay? All right, you chop it up a little bit. It's still a little raw, so we'll let it cook. Okay, this is going to, oh, by the way, I put three, uh, three, three, uh, links of chores over there, or you want to use like a half a pound. If, all right, so date night, you know, it's always good, it's always good to spend some time, spend, I've been married for 17 years, you know, anybody that's been married for quite a long time, you know what, you need your time, you need your time, Okay. Trust me, you need your time for your stove. Alright, the water is boiling. So, come and take a look at that. That's how you want the water boiling. Nice, rapid boil, okay? Because the bubbles, when it's boiling, you know, it's good. So, we're going to throw some oil. Woo! Some oil. Some salt. Alright, boom. Boom. Alright. Now that's boiling, we're going to throw our mat. Or uh, linguine in there, or if you're from South Philly, you're going to throw your macaronis. Your macaronis. I'm going to throw some macaronis. Hey, don't worry, ma. I'm going to throw macaronis in the pot, ma. Me. All right. You always want to make sure you pull it apart so it doesn't cook together. You're going to do that a couple times, so keep your eye on that. All right, because you don't want it quite to cook together. But, all right, so now we got our chorizo cooked. Just done, okay? You don't want to overcook that. We're going to throw some more oil on top of that. All right? We're going to throw our onion, our, our green onion and garlic. We're going to throw that in there. Boom. Okay? Probably half of this onion. I don't know. Boom. See that? Look at that. That's, that, that's a thing of beauty right there. Uh, you're not going to throw your... Um, I don't know. Come and take a look at that. See what it looks like. Come over here. See what it looks like. Boom. How's that look? Good? Nice and good? All right. You got that? You want to mix it up here? Mix it all together. Let, let, let the flavors come together. You know what I'm saying? Let it come together. Like, we're going to come together tonight at date night. You know, make it, make it nice. You got, guys, I'm telling you, you've got to do something for, special for the women every now and again. When you're married 17 years, you got to... You know, you got you to gotta keep her on her toes, man. Every once in a while, when she thinks, oh, my husband, uh, my husband, uh, boom, you surprise her. I'm telling you. Every once in a while, I'll surprise her with something nice. Let's throw these tomatoes in. Well, one bit of dust. Don't worry about it. No one bites of dust. Nobody cares. Throw them in. You want to give them a nice little stir. Look at that. This is this is coming together. Very nice, huh? Don't worry about See this? The same, the same burning. This is cooking, all right? When we put our wine in there, all these flavors are going to come together, all right? So we're going to let the tomatoes cook a little more. Just give it a little stir. Let's see how our pasta is going. Boom, look at that. See how bad? See how See how of a rapid boil that is? Look at that. Pasta is almost done, huh? See the difference putting the lid back on does? 
If we didn't put the lid on, we're probably still waiting for it to boil again. You know what I mean? I have t-shirts, guys. Bombfire.com slash cooking with cooking dash with dash Frankie dash meatball. Boom! Get out there, grab your shirts. Guys, I gotta sell 25 before they're printed. So, you got to the end of the month to get your t-shirt, guys. Get your Cooking with Frankie Meatball t-shirt. I'm telling you, we're all looking good, huh? Look at that guy. Don't you want to walk around with that beautiful little guy over there? Huh? Oh, look at that, huh? This is going to be very, very nice. All right. Now it's time to finish this sauce off. So you got your, your chorizo and, and, and that stuff cooking. So let's throw our squid in. Look at that. Nice and nice. Look at that. That stuff is moy, moy, moy. Beautiful. You know what? I'm just going to throw it all in. I don't care if there's going to be a lot of squid. Boom. Alright. We'll throw that in. Alright. We're going to throw our mussels in. Okay, we're throwing our mussels in. Let's throw our anchovies in. Start, move the mussels to the side. Throw your anchovies on right there. All right, with the, with, with the squid. And um, look at, hey, there we go. All right, so let's give us a nice mix. We're gonna give us a nice mix. All right, and then we're gonna deglaze. See all this, see all this flavor right there? That's gonna come off the bottom. As soon as we, oh, look at the size of these mussels. All right, so we got everything in, we mixed it up nice and nice. Okay, now we're gonna pour, I would say like a quarter cup of wine to give it the steam. A little more than a quarter cup. A solo. I'm a red guy, red dry. So now that went in, you want to just mix it up, get that flavor off the bottom right there. All right. I'm going to put just another little dabber in there. Okay. I'm going to put just another dab. All right. I'm going to let that cook up. I'm going to cover her and let's steam. We're going to steam it up. Again, guys, these Wilmax plates are beautiful. I, I, I can't express how happy I am that I bought my dishes from Wilmax. I mean, this is, I, I just love how, how they are, man. They're not square, they're not round, they're square round. Square round, right? Square round. All right, boom. And again, look at that. You want to make sure you have your uh, Parmesan cheese, or if you're from South Philly, it's your macaroni cheese. And I like put, putting it in my boat. All right, let's see what the mussels are doing. We could give it, give it a little. Oh, they're just about done. This is just about done, guys. Oh, my God, look at that. This is just about done. Ooh, smell that. Smell that, guys. Okay, now, just about done, what we're going to do... I like a little heat. If, if you, you and your girl don't like heat, it's fine. If your girl don't like heat, don't put it in. Just don't be selfish. And just a little palm full. We're going to put that in there. Okay, we're going to mix her up. We're going to mix that up. Look at that. Oh, my God. Guys, look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, my God. I can't wait to have some of this. All right. They, those uh, mussels are just about done. We're going to steam it for another minute. Let them open up a little more, and then boom. You don't want to overcook your mussels. You overcook your mussels, they get, uh, they get rough, tough, and that's not the stuff. All right, now we're going to finish the sauce off. Okay. We're going to shut the heat. We're going to take it off the heat. Bring it over here, okay? We're gonna we're gonna throw our parsley in, okay? We're gonna hit the lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, boom! Right at the end, 
and then we're going to throw, top it off with two tablespoons of butter. Let's throw some more parsley in there. We're going to mix it up. All right, let's throw that lid back on, and boom, it's settled. We're going to finish that off. All right, and we're going to get the plating. All right, there we got everything done. Now it's time to get the plate. All right. Use your nice little thongs. And hopefully she has a pair on on date night. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just me, guys. So you can, you can bring over the pasta. All right. Get the little granny. Put, put it down, okay? Get it down. What I want to do is grab it and turn it. See, very nice, huh? That would just, boom. Nice little twirl, make, make it look nice. Okay, keep, keep that close. All right, look at that. So, get a ladle. Let's get some of that squid and, and chorizo. Let's put some of that down on there. Look at that. Oh my God, that looks so beautiful. Manja, huh? Look at that. Get some sauce, put some of that sauce on there, some chorizo, get that tomato. Hey. We're, gonna it, we're gonna get some more sauce on there. Huh? Look at that. That is, that is something unbelievable. Alright? Look at that. Let's grab some mustard, huh? guys, grab a towel, let's wipe up that over there. We want it to look beautiful when we give it to our beautiful wife, girlfriend, husband. Get some sauce off of Frankie Meatball. Alright, look at that. Let's, let's put all this stuff right there like that. Boom. Alright, now let's finish it off with our green onion. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. All right. Now I think I'm going to do one more on top. Let's get our let's get some tentacles in there, huh? Boom. Now take a look at that plate. That is cooking with Frankie Meatball. A1, guys, I was a little bit serious tonight because it's date night, okay? Uh, Frankie Meatball wasn't Frankie Meatball, but look at this dish. It was well worth it, guys. How beautiful is that, huh? I'm telling you, date night is something special, so you got to cook something special, okay? Very beautiful. And again, I'm going to grab my... We're going to put some Parmesan cheese on that in my Wilmax gravy boat. Look at that. Oh, my God. That is something. Huh? Is that something or what, guys? What do you know, guys? The meatball can do it up. I'm telling you, this is going to be great for your date night. You're going to thank Frankie Meatball whether you make it for your wife or you make it for your husband or you make it even for your girlfriend. I mean, I'm telling you, this is a date night classic. Guys, if you like what you saw, hit like and subscribe down there. Hit the notification button. Guys, I got t-shirts. Bonfire.com slash Cooking with Frankie Meatball. Put a dash between each Cooking with Frankie Meatball. Grab yourself a shirt. Email me your address so you can get a sticker. I'm telling you, you can stick them on the walls. You can stick them on the fridge. You can stick them wherever. Guys, this is Frankie 